This is Dusty Jones, uh, here to talk about the uh, history of decimal fractions. Fractions themselves uh, are, are fairly new compared to numbers. As early as 1000 AD, uh, Hindu mathematicians had introduced several different forms for representing fractions. A and the slash B, A and what looks like a hyphen or today's minus sign B, and what looks like a modern A over B with a fraction bar. These were not universally used for many centuries. Uh, Leibniz popularized the colon, as in uh, 2 colon 3 for 2 thirds in, in the late 1600s, and the use of the solidus, the slash, uh, in 2 thirds was not accepted until uh, the 1800s when it was used by mathematician Augustus de Morgan. The Arabic word for fraction was al uh which derived from the word meaning to break. Latin authors used words fractio and minutum ruptus, which translates to broken number, to refer to fractions. And in early American arithmetic, uh, teachers often talked of vulgar fractions, uh, not meaning something that wasn't pleasant or unseemly, but just common fractions. The word vulgar actually does mean common. The word vulgar was used to distinguish these fractions from decimal fractions. Until decimals were developed, the most popular fractions were sexagesimals. And even to this day, we still use sexagesimals in time measurement and in angle measurement. Uh, decimals and fractions in general were usually avoided in tables uh, for trigonometry, square roots, etc. Uh, for example, an influential arithmetic book uh, from the 1500s had tables for square roots and it was assumed that the square roots um, were multiplied by a thousand and the numbers themselves were multiplied by a million. And so therefore in the table where we have two that was actually interpreted to mean two million the square root of that being 1414. Um, the integer and, and fractional parts appeared in separate columns of the table uh, but no decimal point was involved. Some ideas for decimal fractions in Europe uh, may have come from the East, most likely did. Uh, Persian, Indian, and Chinese mathematicians all used some types of decimal fractions prior to their introduction in Europe. Credit is usually given to uh, Simon Steven, who was a Dutch scientist for introducing the decimal system in Europe. Uh, it was a seven-page pamphlet that he wrote on the rules for decimal fractions and applying uh, the rules for arithmetic. It was published in 1585, had a longer title, but is known as la dime, which is uh, a French phrase meaning uh, a tenth. And his notation uh, for decimals was very clumsy and not widely accepted. His pamphlet was transmitted and translated into English in 1608. At the same time, some other treatises were written on decimals. Uh, a Swiss mathematician and a German mathematician who claimed he invented decimals in 1603. Decimals were not universally used until the early 1700s. And in, in Europe, uh, most textbook authors left decimals until the end of the book. Um, it was kind of an additional topic that if you were really good at mathematics, maybe you would get to. John Napier introduced logarithms in the early 1600s and really provided the impetus for the widespread use of decimals. Some different notation has been used uh, in the past and continues to be used today for decimals. Uh, Rudolph in 1530 used a vertical bar as a separatrix, so 5 vertical bar 912. Uh, Viette in 1579 used two different representations, a vertical bar and a comma. And also in 1579 he called for the adoption of the system throughout mathematics, although we realize with his date, um, 1579, he obviously wasn't listened to since Steven is given credit for introducing decimals in 1585. I mentioned earlier that his Steven's notation was clumsy and two of the ways he wrote 
5.912 would be 5912 with some numerals above it to represent the place value and uh, 5912 which with each numeral followed by a circled numeral in indicating the place value. Other writers suggested other ways to separate the integral and fractional parts of a number. Uh, so representing 75 and 321 thousandths as 75 with a solidus and then 321 underlined or 75 and then 321 in a smaller font kind of above. Uh, Napier uh, in 1617 with his invention of logarithms um, used two or three different representations um, a decimal point and a comma to separate the whole number and the fractional part and also a comma as a separatrix and then two with a single quote and five with a double quote to mean two tenths and five hundredths. Today there's mostly uniform uh, but still different countries use different things. In the United States we use a decimal point uh, on the bottom. In England at times it's in the center and in Germany and France uh, possibly a comma is used.